Hello, this is Dr. Bill Cardoso from Creative Electron, and today our teardown is going to be a little bit different. Instead of just showing you X-ray images of, uh, of the devices that we tear down, today we're going to actually show you how uh, we do them. So, the object we're going to inspect today is the brand new uh, iPhone 6 Plus. And um, as you can see, we, you know, it's, it's on and it's actually active. What we're going to do is uh, to go ahead and put it inside this X-ray machine here, uh, which uh, just happens to be a TrueView uh, X-ray uh, inspection system, the TrueView Prime. So we're going to put the device inside and uh, take some images. And we're going to show exactly um, how we do that using uh, our TrueView software. So all we're going to do now is close the, uh, close the door from the chamber. Turn on the X-ray source, uh, and as you can see, the X-ray image of the iPhone 6 Plus shows up immediately on the screen. And um, this first, we're just going to do a quick scan of the whole phone, uh, very zoomed out, so you guys can uh, take a look of, uh, you know, some major uh, parts uh, of the device. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, uh, so that you can see the details of uh, of the construction. But you can see here, uh, you, have, um, uh, you have the uh, front-facing camera, uh, the microphone, and uh, this microphone here is for uh, uh, denoise, and so they can do noise cancellation by using multiple microphones. Uh, the rear-facing camera, and this one, uh, you can probably notice, is a little bit more sophisticated than the other ones that we've seen in the past. That's because it has the... Um, the um, um, the uh, image stabilization so that uh, it can take uh, into account uh, movements of your, of your hand to stabilize the image. Uh, there's another little microphone here that's a MAMS microphone. Uh, the large LED, which is the uh, flash that's facing uh, uh, backwards uh, to take photographs. And uh, some of the other things you can notice, um, this is the large uh, battery. Uh, that's um, uh, almost uh, 3,000 uh, ma uh, milliamp hour, uh, which uh, Apple claims uh, will get you um, talk time of up to 24 hours on 3G and 384 hours uh, of standby time. And it's interesting because that's um, the battery that we find in the, uh, uh, this battery here, of the IC, uh, iPhone 6 Plus is larger uh, than the standard iPhone 6, uh, uh, 1800 milliamp hour. Uh, which explains the longer life of the 6 Plus, despite it, uh, despite the much larger screen of the 6 Plus. Now, here on the left, you have the switch to uh, for to turn on and off the mute volume up and down here on the left. And if we uh, go down here, and as you can see, the image is live. Uh, on the right, you have to the battery here is on the left. This large, uh, dark, gray area is the, the battery. And here's all the electronics. You, we're going to look in more detail uh, later uh, what each one of these um, components is. But you can see that the larger one here is the um, uh, A8. Uh, you have the SIM card here. You can see the area uh, for the SIM card. And little latch for the SIM card. And you have the vibration motor here. And we had a whole uh, special in, uh, on our uh, X-ray University channel explaining how this works. And they actually have one in action. Uh, the large single uh, speaker of the iPhone 6 Plus is here. Uh, you have um, the uh, at the end of the battery here, the charger. Control, uh, here on the bottom left, you have the three and a half millimeter audio jack, the lightning connector, and you can see some other connections for, um, for the antenna. So what we're gonna do next, uh, we're gonna zoom in on this uh, device so you can have a little more, uh, we can see a little bit more of the detail. So as you can see, this is the three and a half millimeter audio jack. You can see the contact here uh, for the microphone, left and right uh, speakers. And you can actually see the wires connecting this uh, audio jack connector to 
uh, the main board. And you can see the, the loop wire there. And uh, as we keep looking uh, on the, on, uh, and then what we're gonna do now, it's a similar scan like we did before, uh, but with uh, more magnification, which give, let, allows you to see more details on this board. Uh, so that's the lightning connector, and that's the connection to the, to the edge. Let me move this guy a little bit so you can see. You see, this is the edge, the, the bottom of the, <coughs> of the iPhone 6. Plus, these are the two screws that hold uh, the keys together, and that's the port that interfaces the outside world uh, to uh, the insides of the iPhone uh, 6 Plus. So let's keep moving around. You see the, here the connector uh, for the antenna, and uh, Apple installed this uh, mesh uh, to keep dust and other foreign objects from uh, the phone. And um, what you see here is the uh, channel uh, be, uh, to, uh, for the speaker. So the sound waves can exit the phone through that uh, acoustic channel. That's a large speaker. We can increase uh, the power a little bit to have a better view. It's a really nice speaker, quite large. Produces a nice sound. So let's keep going. And uh, here we see again the vibration motor. So before you see, you can also see the bent of the flex circuit that, it, that interfaces this device together. And here's the other end of that antenna cable uh, that we showed you before. And um, and then you see this um, vast array of components, and each one of these have, you know, they have uh, a different uh, functionality. Uh, for example, this guy here on the corner is the uh, uh, 3G, uh, 3G Edge uh, power amplifier module. Uh, and if you keep going further up, uh, you're going to see the Qualcomm LTE modem. Uh, the uh, six-axis gyroscope and accelerometer here in the corner. Uh, then, um, as we keep moving forward, the SIM card. You can see the uh, here's the connect for the SIM card, and that's the latch. So when you plug it in, it locks the SIM card in place. The large uh, A8 is right here, so you can see it's a very dense package with the um, uh, Hynix NAND flash uh, underneath. And right here on the top is the, uh, right here, uh, this guy here is the array, this ball grid array here on the top is the Murata Wi-Fi uh, module on this device. Now, um, as you uh, well know, the power button on this device, on the iPhone 6 Plus, was moved uh, to the side of the device. Right here. So that's the power button. And you can see the tactile switch right there. And if we keep moving up, uh, here's the rear-facing camera, uh, and that's the one we were talking about. Uh, it has a new hardware for image stabilization, so it's a pretty cool new camera. Uh, the microphone here, uh, the LED, and you can see there's quite a lot of voiding actually on this LED. This is the flash uh, LED. This is a very powerful LED. Another uh, screw to keep the uh, rear-facing camera in position. Uh, and this is the uh, the, the um, uh, front-facing camera. And there it is, the control module. And, and here's the, the, this corner is the antenna corner. So that's where uh, the, one of the antenna wires is uh, connected to 
uh, soldered uh, to the board. And if we keep going to that, to the left side of the, uh, of the iPhone 6 Plus, uh, you see the uh, on-off switch for the mute button, which is right here, followed by the volume up and volume down, which are right here. You can see the volume up, the tactile switch, and volume down, right there. And this large gray area here on the right is the battery. Uh, as you can see, the battery is, uh, takes a good chunk of the iPhone, iPhone 6 Plus. And uh, here on the left, you have more uh, connection for the antenna and the overall interface uh, with, uh, with the case. And we are back to the auto jack where we started. So we gave you a full view of the iPhone 6 Plus now in a lot of more detail. And I hope this was useful. I hope uh, we were able to show you a little bit more about this really incredible device. Now that our teardown is done, uh, let's go ahead and uh, remove the iPhone from the machine. As you can see, it's perfectly functional. For more information, please contact us at 760-752-1192 or find us online at creativeelectron.com. Thanks.